Hey guys, today I'm making six panda themed DIY miniatures. Just some crafts I've made over the years. As always, if you make this craft, you can tag me on Instagram and I'll totally come check it out. And kids, do be sure and ask a parent for help before starting this craft. Okay guys, for the panda notebooks, simply print the printable, which you can access by clicking on the link in the description section. Score on the lines for easier folding. Then cut out a strip of paper, fold accordion style. And glue. Next up is the Panda tablet case. I start with a printable. Add tape for shiny effect. Alternatively, you could print the printable on glossy photo paper. Cut out, then glue to a piece of packaging material that's painted black. Color the edges with marker. I trace on a piece of thick white craft foam. and glue that to a piece of cardstock. I make the eyes using cardstock and my multi-hole punch, along with cheeks and pupils. I use more thick craft foam painted black for the ears. For the soap dispensers, I simply glue beads and paint with nail polish, paint a toothpick, wrap a thin strip of paper around it, attach to my beads, and cut a bit of craft foam for the spout. The ears are more craft foam using my multi-hole punch and just using a marker to create the face. The panda pencil case is also made just using regular craft foam. I have parchment paper handy to cover any excess glue. Alternatively, you can always just trim any messy edges. I use more craft foam for the eyes and ears. Number five is a super easy tissue box. Again, just using a printable, which I print on paper. I will link to these in the description section. Score on my lines. Cut my tabs along the sides. Punch a hole along the top. And assemble. Cut out the piece of tissue and stuff inside. And finally, the panda slippers. I start with a thick piece of craft foam, cut to size, shape, then use thin craft foam and carefully glue it along the front. cleaning up any excess glue by trimming or using the heat from my hot glue gun to melt it. Then I glue my slipper to another piece of craft foam, again using my hot glue gun to clean up any excess glue and shape any rough edges of craft foam. Then using glossy acrylic paint, I can make my face. Thin craft foam for the ears and guys. You are so totally good to go. Well, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks, guys.